So now we're going to multiply a three digit number by a two digit number. And the example I'm going to use is 328 times 53. I need a bigger grid this time because I've got hundreds to deal with in one of the numbers and tens and units, but also in the other number, tens and units. Each one of those has got to be multiplied by all the others. So I need a three digit by two digit grid to arrange the numbers. I use place value to do that. So at the top of this one, I write 300, 20 there, and eight units on the end. And down the side, five tens, 50, and three units. I need to make sure when I'm doing the multiplying that I don't lose track of the zeros on the ends of the numbers. Three times eight is 24. That's the easiest one because there's no zeros to worry about. Now I'm going to fill in the rest of the boxes. 8 times 50, 8 fifties, is 400. So I'm going to write that in there. 50 times 20 is going to be 1,000. 50 times 300, there'll be three zeros, and then five threes of 15. It's 15,000. 3 lots of 300 is 900, 3 lots of 20 is 60. The only number that should ever have units in is this number in the bottom right hand corner. All the rest will end in at least one zero, usually more. Once I've completed all six boxes and I'm happy with my multiplies, I've then got to add all six numbers. So I need to write them underneath each other very carefully using place value because that's when most multiply sums start to go wrong. If the addition isn't done carefully using place value, things can end up in the wrong place. I also need to check that I've counted all six numbers from the boxes, not missed any out. So I've been along the top row, and then I've been along the bottom row. Now I'm going to draw my line and add them. And again, I need to add using place value. I start from the units. 4 in that column, 6 and 2 is 8, 9 and 4, 13, 5, 6, 7 and a 1 there. So my final answer is 17,384. 17,384.